this one just doesn't go away. Celtic, are reportedly eyeing another potential arrival at Parkhead, amid reports that the Scottish champions are still monitoring Paris Saint-Germain midfielder, Edouard Michou. According to journalist Peter Rourke, speaking to Give Me Sport, the Scottish champions could well make another move for the 19-year-old before the window slams shut, should the League One giants be willing to sanction the Frenchman's departure. The transfer insider stated, if PSG are willing to let him go, the midfield is an area that Postacoglu is looking to strengthen as well. It is somebody they've been tracking all summer, so I'm sure they will be keeping tabs with PSG to see if there is any possibility that Michou might be allowed out on loan. Reports last month suggested that Glasgow Celtic were readying a £2 million bid for the teenager albeit with the Parc des Princes hierarchy said to be demanding in the region of £5 million to let him depart. That would no doubt be a sizeable sum for a player who has made just eight senior appearances for his current side thus far, although the indication is that Michou could well have a bright future in the game, having even been compared to teammate Marco Verratti due to his ball-playing talent. The highly technical prodigy, as dubbed by talent scout Jacek Kulig, has already registered one assist in that brief first-team experience so far, with a more prominent role in Christophe Gaultier's side seemingly only hampered by the wealth of senior talent at the 55-year-old's disposal. A move could well be needed to allow the youngster to truly kickstart his senior career elsewhere, with manager Angie Postacoglu likely to welcome him into the fold as he looks to bolster his midfield options, having seen Tom Rogic and New Bitten depart at the end of last season. While the title-winning coach quashed the suggestion that the Scottish Premiership side were attempting to sign the France U19 international earlier this summer, the former Yokohama boss did admit that the pound 2.7M rated gem is a good player, having clearly been aware of his talents. Those at Celtic Park will no doubt be hoping that Michou can replicate the impact of another man who made the move to Glasgow from PSG in recent times with compatriot Ardsan Aidwa having sparkled following his arrival back in 2017. Like the younger man, Aidwa had enjoyed limited first-team experience prior to his move to Scotland, having made 17 appearances on loan at Toulouse after failing to make a single outing for the Parisian outfit. That mattered little, as he subsequently went on to score 86 goals in just 179 games for Celtic FC over the next five seasons, having seen his initial loan move made permanent for a fee of around £9 million in 2018. Having assumed the mantle as the club's leading marksman following the exit of Mousa Dembele, the 24-year-old went on to spearhead Celtic to a plethora of major honours over the next few years, before departing for Crystal Palace on a £14 million deal last summer. His tale showcases that taking a gamble on an inexperienced youth product can more than pay off, with the current Eagles man having scored a hatful of goals and secured the club a tidy profit upon his eventual exit. Although the more creative Michou is unlikely to have the same goal-scoring impact on Postecoglou's side, he can still impose himself on the club in the way that Aidwa had done previously, rising up from something of an unknown and untested quality into a real leading figure. It could prove yet another transfer masterclass if Celtic can get the midfielder through the door over the next week or so. In other Celtic FC news, fans are counting down the days until Istanbul on Thursday, when they will learn who they will face in the group stages of the Champions League. Angie Postacoglu knows Celtic's straightforward Premiership victory against Hearts at the weekend probably won't last long in the memory banks. But the Hoops boss is absolutely certain there are encounters on the horizon that will be completely unforgettable. Postacoglu was pretty satisfied with his side's stress-free win over the much-changed Jambos that preserved the club's impressive unbeaten start to their title defence. Celts were never in much danger and while they didn't quite hit top gear, they didn't really have to, and it's the promise of more to come that's got Parkhead punters excited. But there's a different level of anticipation around the club this week. And it's rising up to fever pitch. Postacoglu is used to holding the reins when it comes to folk getting carried away, yet even the big Aussie admits, the next few days are something special. The Champions League draw. 
Postacoglu said, we're looking forward to it, it's exciting. I know that come Thursday, we're going to have all our supporters glued to the TV set in anticipation. It's where we should be. It's where this football club needs to be. I have a responsibility to make sure we are there and we are there to make an impact. No doubt when we see the draw there are going to be some exciting ties and some memorable occasions for everyone involved in this football club, whether you are a player or staff, manager or supporter. Celtic Park Champions League nights are unforgettable, so I'm looking forward to it. Tell me who you want in the Champions League in the comment section.